Hey guys, welcome to Sensitive Queen Speaks, where we talk about anything and everything related to business, business owners, artists, creators, marketing, daily life, struggles, self-care, and self-love. I am Jasmine, your host. Most of you may know me from J. Lou Rose, which is my small business. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, welcome to episode one. We are finally here for all of you who have been waiting for this podcast. I know it's been almost a year, but here I am. I finally made it. Um, Fun fact, though, last year when I said I was going to be starting it, I believe it was back in August, I did record like four episodes, but I started off with video as well, and then I think I just got stressed too because I was trying to jam it all in before my full-time job started, and just the stress of editing video and audio together because I like did it separately, um, you know, still new to the game, but think all of that stressed me out so your girl just kind of went on a hiatus but we are back and I'm doing it at a better pace and I've laid out some segments that like I want to be a part of the podcast and I want to make sure I always cover them in each one of them so first off you're probably wondering why the name sensitive queen speaks well it kind of goes back well it mainly goes back to growing up I feel like I've always had a trauma behind the words quiet and shy. I've, I, I was always, always, always labeled quiet or the shy girl. And, you know, even when I got chances to talk, I just felt like my opinion really didn't matter at that point because people would always point it out or make an emphasis on it. And it's like, okay, fine. I don't need to talk. I, I, it's fine. I'm going to stay quiet right here because why even bother, right? My opinion didn't matter. But no, no, we grew out of that. I mean, your girl is still a sensitive queen, but your girl is talking now. Yes, it may be through a screen, and it's it's definitely easier to talk through a screen versus being in person. Your girl gets so nervous. That's definitely one of the things you would notice if you've ever met me in person. I'm totally different than what I seem to be online, all confident. I mean, I do feel confident, but like, you know, meeting new people and presenting myself and stuff in person, it can be rough, especially if you don't do it on a daily or you're just not used to it. But I don't know if your school ever made you do this, but we had periods of times where we would have speeches like four, I think four times each quarter or something like that. And your girl was terrified, scarred, or even when we had to do presentations, I just... I hate the attention, the eye just directly on you, even though people are probably just zoning out in their own world. I did get better as time went on, but there were definitely different occasions that it was worse than usual, but I would never want to relive that in my years of grade school and high school would agree it's definitely easier to be yourself behind a screen because you don't have that direct live feedback or any judgment or any judgments that would come at you right away but I don't know that's just me I feel like growing up and going to school I don't know if I just don't know much of what goes on right now in school environments but from hearing from other people i just feel like the school environment has definitely changed and definitely feel like we've grown as a society as in terms of judging people and you know just just not judging at least not so harshly i mean i know that you're gonna have judgment everywhere you go i understand that but like back in the day growing up I just, I was never shunned, don't get me wrong, but I just always felt it was a judgy environment, you know, like with the being quiet or shy, my skin color, like it was always a 
joke to make fun of me like oh i did this because i'm black like what like number one i'm mixed so i'm not just black which always annoyed me so like all right we're, we're not gonna go into that but just that was just an example um even right now like i feel like I'm giving a speech so like my heart is racing and I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like I can't take a breath, but I know I can because I can take my time and you know, I'm I'm not looking at it, anyone, but I don't know. Okay, so there's a little background on where my trauma of being quiet, shy, not being able to speak my opinion or voice all the time. I even struggle with it today. It's a big reason why i wanted to create this environment too for like creators um artists businesses small businesses i wanted to create this community and like a safe place for those who can relate voice out their opinions thoughts if you're seeking advice um you know and it's all related to basically anything in your life or, you know, marketing, business, being a business owner, starting your own brand, just all those things. Um, and especially if you're from the TikTok community, hey, um, you know me, I just love I just love seeing everyone's work and their process and I love how everyone is just so supportive to all the other small businesses and we just try to uplift each other and comment and just share the love wherever we can because we all know how that feels like you know when um views are bad or you know not a lot of not a lot of comments or anything like that especially if you're from the tiktok community if you're on small business tiktok for example you know how supportive we are of each other and sharing and sharing the love and just seeing everyone's process it's always so exciting and to see everyone grow i just love that side and i just wanted to bring that side to basically all kinds of um categories or niches i just i just wanted to open the door more um for not just businesses like if you're an artist creative digital creator vlogger youtuber um just all kinds of stuff because i'm i'm into a lot of stuff i really want to get into youtube more and focus on that and like this podcast, I really want to just be able to get more in depth with myself too. And if you're listening to this and you're like, what community? That's okay. I want to create a community right here where it can be a safe place for you to help you out. Um, I mean, I'm in no way licensed to, you know, give advice or anything. I just want to give advice with um, the experiences I've had and just to share my knowledge in my business journey and all that and just life in general honestly but um, so like I mentioned earlier why did I take so long to do this because your girl went into a creative burnout I was in the midst of starting a full-time job when I was talking about starting a podcast, I didn't really know if it would happen for sure. Though. If you're a business owner, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know if it was just me, but it felt like the summer months last year was just very slow and it just wasn't helping me financially where I was. So I was like, okay, I need to get a full-time job. It's enough just sit in here no i wasn't really just sitting there but i just i just needed another financial cushion so i got a full-time job i was hoping to get one working at home but that did not work out but if you have any working at home jobs hit me up anyways i started my full time at the end of july and i did i i think i was still making content i think i fell off the boat around august maybe or maybe i was done by july because when you start a new job you know you're getting all the information and how to do things and all that so you just basically come home tired and i was coming home constantly tired not wanting to do anything i just wanted to eat and then i would die on the couch sleeping it was just so hard to try and get myself to post to comment 
and to make more creations. I felt bad because even if I posted, I was like thinking, oh, I won't be able to have time to comment on other people's or to watch other videos. I All I could do is probably get on and post and leave. But I didn't want that to be the case because I felt bad because I want to give out the love that I receive. And I just, I wasn't happy with myself. And I do, I do realize that I was too hard on myself now because... All those expectations were just too much. I was putting up, I was putting too many expectations for myself and it was just it was just it was just impossible and inhumane. I had to I had to take a step back and realize I am only freaking human. And yes, it almost took a year, but um we're back and I've definitely learned how to manage my time a little better. And just to, you know, split my times for what I want to focus on. And even incorporating some business work during my lunch breaks. At lunch, I really don't eat a meal because I just get sad that I'm not going home. So instead, I do business work or do any designs that come to mind. Or if I'm working on anything, I'll fit it in my lunch break to work on. Which worked out for a bit. But then I was on and off with that kind of routine. And then I just stopped. So probably until recently, maybe, I don't know, two or three months ago, I started to get my designs that I wanted to start launching again, started creating listings, thinking about what product I wanted to turn it into. Gosh, me just rambling about my business and I haven't even spoken what i even do me assuming that you're just from tiktok and you know me anyway so my business is called J. Lou rose i make stickers stationery, custom designs apparel tote bags and more you can check out my stuff at jlurose.com that's j-l-u-r-o-s-e.com Anyway, so back to when I started, I started, you know, getting my designs down and picking what product I wanted to be on, whether it be a sticker, a memo pad, yada, yada, yada. I, I was making sure I was recording content of me making the product, drawing the process, so I'd have content, content basically for days. And so I had like all this content ready to go and all I had to do was edit it. So I got to a point where I had all my videos ready i had all my products ready descriptions ready on the website not posted yet but everything ready to go but the only thing left i would have to do is edit but that was like i don't know why it just i just didn't have any motivation to edit at all i didn't want to do it even though i like I wanted to do it but like i just couldn't i couldn't get myself to just sit and edit and do it I just wanted to basically eat food and just watch all my shows. Honestly, that's all I wanted to do. It was really quite sad and like I knew like, why am I doing this? Why am I not posting? Why am I not getting my product out there? Why am I not showing the world what I'm creating and what my brain is thinking of? Like, I don't know. I don't know. And there was there was also a period right before this inspo came through and I did have the longest art block I think it came bef- it came right after or during when I started my new job so I had art block for a while and then I forget what inspired me again to start making stuff and then fell in a slump again because I didn't want to edit or anything so I just had all this content laid up all these products waiting to be shared with the world and then i don't know just life got in the way if you don't know me i do have a dog named leia she's a big floof ball and then around december i mean we got saber in february early february or was it later it was february i know that and his name is saber and he's also a floof ball not as floofy as leia but just got busy i guess i don't know it's not like I wasn't getting orders in between the hiatus. I definitely was getting orders and I was obviously completing them, but it was not as much as, 
you would think it is. I definitely lacked marketing while I was gone because I wasn't posting, so then I wasn't getting as much sales as I would have liked to. So that was also depressing me, but it was like my own fault. I think that basically catches you guys up on all that happened. It's like not much really happened, but behind the scenes, I was creating and creating art and all my ideas were brimming. So I'm just so excited to share that with you guys. So that will all be on like TikTok and YouTube. If you want to follow my business journey, my YouTube and TikTok will have it all. Still working on getting back into Instagram, but anyways basically gives an explanation of the past and what I've been up to. Right now, I'm currently navigating a full-time job and incorporating my small business back into my life. I definitely feel like I'm going in a good direction. I did recently have a week off. Sad to see it come to an end, but it did give me time to just you know, focus on what I want to put out into the world and just get things ready and stuff. So I really, I'm crossing my fingers. We won't fall off the boat this time. A segment I want to include into my podcast every week is a manifestation segment. Now you're probably thinking, what is manifestation? Or you know what manifestation is. But for those of you who don't know, it's things like affirmations, self-love mantras, self-care mantras, what you want to attract, what gives you motivation, what keeps you going day by day. You've made it this far. Hey, I want you to grab your tea, your coffee, your water, anything, anything that relaxes you. I want you to go to your comfy spot or if you're out and about, I want you to just take a moment. Just pause with me. Now you can repeat these if you feel the same way. Change them up a bit, up to you. But I want to do some reflecting and manifestations. I'm going to probably repeat this about three times. Three? Four times. We'll do four. On the third one, you can repeat after me or you can change it up to how you want it to sound for you. I don't chase, I attract. 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 I deserve all good things. 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 I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. I am allowing myself to be my true self more each day. I am allowing myself to be my true self more each day. I am allowing myself to be my true self more each day. I am creating the life of my dreams. 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 Dreams can and will turn into reality. Dreams can and will turn into reality. Dreams can and will turn into reality. I am sending you guys love, motivation, good energy, and strength. I'm sending you guys love, motivation, good energy, and strength. I am sending you guys love, motivation, good energy, and strength. And now on to the self-care, self-love segment. Don't you dare go anywhere. We still got self-love and self-care to say to ourselves. Did you drink some water today? Did you get enough sleep? Step outside and feel the sun. Or if it's raining, just watch the drops go down. Write or say three things you are grateful for. I'll go first. I'm grateful for the life that I woke up to today. I'm grateful for my loved ones still being all alive and well. And I am grateful for the house I live in. Jam out to your favorite tunes. Ask yourself, whatever you are stressing about, will it matter in a few years? 
If not, let it go. Unnecessary stress is not needed. All right, some of you have maybe been waiting for this part, but now we are in the submission segment. Da -da 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 -dum. That's my little drum roll. But if you don't know what the submission segment is, this is where you can send in your questions. If you're looking for advice or you want to know more about a certain topic or anything um, that I could relate to or help you with, um, it is open to anyone. You can either state your name or you can be anonymous. You can send your submissions to SQS podcast at gmail.com make sure you say whether you want to remain anonymous or state your name or you can check out if you're watching on youtube you can check out the link in my description you can also find it on my website jaylerose.com and if you scroll down the sqs podcast page will have all that information okay first up is kim from the crafting kangaroo Let's talk about the pros and cons of opening a website versus Etsy. I want to make the leap to Wix or Shopify and I need a push, lol. Well, first off, fun fact for those of you who don't know, I started my business first through Etsy and it was great. Let's start with the pros of Etsy. One, Etsy has its own marketing. If you're not much of a marketer or you don't plan to be consistent with your marketing, Etsy has their own built-in system of marketing. So they'll push out your listings to certain people and obviously show up in certain tags that you put up in your listings and help it get discovered more. Number two, it's well known and familiar. Etsy is a familiar brand. When you tell your mom or your grandma or someone at work, they've 99.9% .9 heard of it. I, I know not everyone will have heard of it, but it's most likely well known and thus people can discover it more frequently and easily. And I know with the average consumer, if they're familiar with a site like oh hey that's canva or hey that's shopify oh hey that's walmart that's target yeah i know that site that that's trusted we can trust that one that's like etsy people trust etsy people trust buying from them even though there's so many different kinds of sellers just because etsy is a brand in itself everyone is familiar with it and is comfortable buying from it whether you're from gosh knows where right three you only have to pay for your listings every so often i'm not sure if it's three months or what the time frame is right now but you only pay for every so often and a good thing about that like let's say you don't have a lot of product to put out only a certain few so you're only paying for like let's say you have three products you only you're only paying not even much too isn't it like I, I, I don't remember the prices, but let's say it's like a dollar. You're only paying three dollars to have three listings up every so often. Four, if you are reaching an international audience or if you notice that you have international buyers, it is easier to go through Etsy for international orders in terms of customs and such. Um, I... I personally haven't gone through that with a separate website and I don't think it'll be fun. I don't know. Maybe I'm just scared because it's just international is different, different with customs, but definitely Etsy makes it easier for that. I've probably had one or two orders that were international and it was fine and it was so smooth. All right, let's go into some pros with your own website. One. You can establish your brand more. On Etsy, you can probably customize your banner, but that's probably about it. But on your own website, you can customize basically anything from text to background, pictures, colors, um, customizing your own color theme and have your logo colors and just have it all flow together and just have it designed how you want it, how you want people to view your products and make navigation easier and also organize it how you want it. 
basically gives you a more design expression and to express how you see your brand and how you want others to see your brand. Another pro with your own website, if you're into all the like coding and stuff, you can also like code the website how you like. A con about your own website is you have to be the sole marketer. You have to bring your customers. You have to make sure you're consistent with marketing so you can drive yourself sales. The key is basically driving yourself sales when you have your own website. And like, for example, with me, I was not driving enough sales because I wasn't doing any marketing. I was surprised I even got a few orders in between, but it definitely did hurt me without marketing my own business. Now, this one, I really don't know whether to put it in a con or a pro, but for your own website, you obviously have to pay a fee to stay open every month. Um... I know some websites like Squarespace, you can pay, I believe, a year subscription. It probably cuts down cheaper, maybe. I think with Squarespace, you have to add in, like, if you want to sell on Squarespace. Definitely, I definitely do recommend Etsy for those who are starting off in their business journey just because you have more of a platform of others to find you and just Etsy is just made for like handmade goods and it's just like the number one place. Not number one, but it's the most place that people probably go to for handmade items which most likely people will discover your business. If you've already established yourself, then definitely recommend switching just so you have more of a creative handle on things. But if if that's not more of what you're looking for, then you don't have to switch. I also have a degree in graphic design, so I also want to have a platform where I can show off my work if I ever needed to get interviewed or show off my portfolio or just show off my brand my products i already have a website built and everyone can go there already and see all that i've done so that's like a big reason why i need to do my own separate website so your reasonings can differ in your decision whether to make that push or not And next up, we have the creatives feature. This is where i'll feature small businesses business owners YouTubers, digital creators, artists, all type of creatives in this section each week. So first off we have Brianne Valentino. Brianne's business is called Brianne Valentino LLC. Services that are offered. We've got abstract painting and photography. Brianne shoots engagements, weddings, portraits, and wants to work with small businesses to provide them with content for their Instagram feed and Facebook. You can find Brianne's website at Brianne Valentino Studio. Dot com. If you ever need like the spelling or anything of these two, the YouTube video for this podcast and it will have everything there. If you ever want to be featured on the Creatives feature, just over to my TikTok. There will be a video that will be pinned and you can leave your name, business, what you do and where we can find you. And a creative will be featured each week. So stick around. Alright guys, that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you liked this episode and I hope you stick around for more and in my journey. And I can't wait to hear more from you guys. Like I said before, if you would like to send in a submission, just email me at sqspodcasts at gmail.com. Or you can check out my website, jaylerose.com. Go to the bottom, SQS Podcast, and you can find the form there.